a Roman officer who begged him for help. Uh -huh. My servant is sick at home in the bed. He's paralyzed and in a terrible condition. And Jesus said unto him, I will go and make him well. No, sir, answered the officer. I do not deserve to have you to come into my house. But just say the word, and my servant will be made well. Come on, preacher. Right. For I, too, am a man of authority with superior officers. And I have soldiers under me. And I say to them, come, and they come. Come on, preacher. I say to another, go, and he goes. Mm. And I say to my slave, do this, mm. and he does it. Mm. Jesus was surprised when he heard this. Yes. And he said to the people following him, I have never in all of the people of Israel heard such faith as this. Yeah, yeah. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And again, the whole church said, Amen. 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 The subject that we shall endeavor to use this morning with God's help and with your prayer, the God who answers prayer. The God who answers prayer. As it is our custom, we invite you to look at your neighbor. Let's say it together. Come on. The God who answers prayer. Who is it? Come on. The God who answers prayer. Now, how many are familiar with it? Yeah, yeah. Do you know it? Yes. Have you tried it? Yes. Won't he answer prayer? Yes. The God who answers prayer. That's right. Amen. Have you ever hoped? wish or dream or pray that God would answer your prayer. Yeah. Amen. You needed an answer. Mm -hmm. You needed a healing that no one else could heal. Yeah. You needed a fix. Mm -hmm. You needed the Lord to come at a time that you needed him most. You had an emergency. Mm -hmm. You needed the Lord to come to speak to your heart. Yes. To touch your body. Yes. And in so needing the Lord, you cried out unto him, Lord, here I am. I need your help right now. For if thou withdraw thyself from me, where shall I be? You cried out to the Lord. And God heard your prayer. And healing came over your body. Renewed strength came to you. And you were overjoyed that God heard your prayer. Yes. This is what happened to the centurion in our text. His servant was sick. Uh -huh. And on behalf of his servant, he cried out to the Lord for help, and God heard his cry and answered his prayer. Amen. Oh, how refreshing that is. We serve a good God. Amen. We Amen. serve a great God. Yes. We serve a God who can do anything but fail. Yes. We serve a God who will answer prayer. Yes. This centurion, note, he was 
a high class and high ranking commanding officer in the Roman army. Uh -huh. Centurion means leader over 100 men. Mm. This centurion, he was familiar with Jesus Christ. He was a man of faith. He was a man after God's own heart. He was a man who knew how to get in touch with Jesus at a time that he needed him most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a good man. Yeah. I said he was a good man. Yeah. Come on, preacher. And, 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 and so here, this centurion, he was also a Gentile. All right. Amen. You know Jesus was a Jew. <laughs> and, and it was a time that Jews and Gentiles had no dealing. But when you are crying out for help, yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter what race you are. Right. If you need help, you just need help. Amen. So here, this centurion. He was too a man of authority, a man of power. But two things about him. He recognized that Jesus Christ also had power and authority. Right, right. Have I got a witness right there? Yeah, yeah. Amen. He knew he had power. He knew he had authority because he could say to his men, do this, do that, and they would do it, come. They would come, slay, do this, and he would do it. He had power right. and he had authority. Right, right. But he had sense enough to recognize that his power, his authority, was less than what Jesus had. Oh, no. oh you ought to hear this on the pulpit. And the fact that he realized that Jesus had more power and authority than he had, yeah. Jesus equated this yeah. with faith. Yeah. Have I got a witness yeah. right here? In other words, Jesus said, hey, not only does this man have a power and authority, but he recognized that I have more power than he had. That means he's a faithful man. Yeah, yeah. That means he knows something about my fault. Yeah. That means he knows what I've done in the past. Come yeah. on, preacher. Yeah. See, what I like about it is that Jesus proved mm -hmm. that he had power. Yes, yeah. sir. He proved that he had power to heal, uh -huh. power to forgive, right. power to heal the sick, yeah. power to raise the dead. Give sight to the blind, make lame. He had power to deliver. He had power to save. He had power to wipe away our sin. Power to create in us clean hearts. Yeah. And renew the right. Jesus had power. Yes, sir. And then Jesus had a mm. He proved that he had authority over the whole world. That's right. The earth is the Lord. Mm. And the fullness thereof. Yeah. And all the day that come, that's authority, isn't it? Amen. Amen. And under the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. If, you, if that ain't authority, tell me what is authority. Yes, yes. Amen. In other words, it doesn't matter who you are, you got to bow to Jesus. Amen. It doesn't matter who you are, you got to confess to Jesus. Yeah. Am I right about oh, it? Right. Amen. You can't have your booty if you want to. <laughs> Amen. He got to bow and confess that Jesus is Lord. Right. Some young woman got to bow and confess that Jesus is Lord. Mm. And so here, because of his faith, he won a healing blessing for his servant. Amen. It was faith that won him a blessing. Church, isn't it good to know that we serve a God who answers prayer? Yeah, amen. Yeah. I said we serve a God mm. who answers prayer. Yeah. Now, words are inadequate to describe God. There is no word in the English vocabulary or language that can describe God. We put a lot of adjectives and all of it's good. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's immutable. He's existential. Amen. Uh, he's, a, he, 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 he's, he's a God of gods, king of kings, lord of lords. He's upper and omega. He's the beginning and the end. All of these are adjectives that describe God, but God is more than that. 
I said, God is more than that. You can come up with a word that can describe who God is. Because he's always bigger than what we can describe. Now, if I got a witness right now, and one thing I like about him, amen, it's good to know here that we can go to him in times of prayer. Yes. How many glad that God is a God who answers prayer? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Won't he do it? Amen. 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 And see, the good thing is that he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Yes, he is. I'm talking about a God who answers prayer. Sometimes the answer is yes, sometimes it's no, sometimes it's hold on. Just a little while longer. Yeah. Amen. You're not ready for it right now, but hold on. Just a little while longer. I'll make everything on. All right. God is his friend. And those who call on him, yes, sir. the Lord will answer. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Oh, yes. Amen. The Bible says that all who call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. Yes, all you got to do is call on and then those who asked him mm -hmm. shall receive something. Yes, sir. That's what I like about it. Isn't that right? I don't know what you're asking for today, but whatever it is, amen, you're going to receive what you're asking for. Right. Amen. Isn't that right? And then for those who are seeking this morning, amen, you will find what you're looking for in Jesus Christ. Hello, preacher. He answered those kind of prayers. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. And for those who are knocking at the door of God's heart, amen, the Lord will allow you to come in. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. To those who knock, God will answer their prayer. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but amen, the Lord was knocking on my door one day. I don't know if he ever been to your house. Come on, Bishop. Amen. But he knew what was going on in mind. Yes, sir. And it wasn't nearly about what he wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, Isn't that Bishop. right? And he's been trying to get in there for years. Oh, now open it up. I look out the window. I see who it is now. I ain't ready for it. Yeah. Come on, Bishop. Go away. Come back another day. But the Lord don't listen. Kept on knocking. Mm -hmm. Until finally one day I opened that door mm -hmm. of my heart mm -hmm. and allowed Jesus to come in. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, church, ever since that day, mm -hmm. I've been sometimes rising, sometimes falling. Amen. But it's been the most joyous day of my life. Yeah, yeah. Falling in love with Jesus yeah. is the best thing that ever happened in my life. <laughs> I tell anybody, open the door and allow Christ to come in. And he just doesn't come in and sit down. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. He'll come in and start cleaning up yeah. in areas where you couldn't get to the right. right. He washes us whiter than snow. Yeah. Creating us clean hearts. Yeah. Renew the right spirit within us. Allow him to come in. The God who answers prayer. And that means that God is a prayer answering God. Oh, I'm glad about it today. He's a prayer answering God. And you can call the children of Israel. And remember when they were slaves in the land of Egypt. Yeah, yeah. And remember how they cried out to the Lord, we need you right now. Yeah. Have I got a witness right yeah. here? And then we're under the hand of a cruel king named Pharaoh. And God uh, put it upon the heart of Pharaoh. You must let my people go. Now we got a witness right here. And then again they had to call on him. You see, sometimes you have to call on God several times. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. And when they were caught between Pharaoh's army and the Red Sea, Amen. They were grumbling, but they finally came to their senses and said, we need to call on God. And again, God answered their prayer. Yeah. Told Moses, stretch out your rod. Mm. They walked through on dry land and Pharaoh's army got drowned in the Red Sea. Right. Now, you know, I don't wish bad on my enemies. <laughs> Y'all help me, somebody. I don't wish bad on my enemies, but I wish some of them, amen, would be like Pharaoh's army, amen, and get drowned. <laughs> Help me, Lord. And get drowned in the Red Sea. Is that right? And I'll be the first one to sing, Oh, Mary, don't you weep. Mm -hmm. 
Because Pharaoh's army got drawn in the Red Sea. And then, and then God is that kind of God yes, he is. who answers our prayers in our time of need. Mm -hmm. I want you to know, just like God answered the prayers of those back in the biblical days, God is still answering prayers today. Yes, he yeah. is. I said, God is still answering prayers today. Right. Right. And God will answer your prayer. Yes. In your time of sickness, didn't God answer your prayers? Yes. In your time of grief and sorrow, when you had lost a loved one, didn't God answer your prayer? Yes. When your loved one, amen, was in the hospital on their bed of affliction and you prayed, Lord, have mercy, please, didn't he answer? Yes, yes sir. Yes. God is a God who answers prayer. As I close today, I want you to look again at that centurion. He taught us how to get a prayer through. Yes, sir. Let me say that again. He yeah. taught us how to get a prayer through. And you know, sometimes it seems hard to get a prayer through. Yeah. Amen. This is the first thing that he did. He called on the name of the Lord. Yes. Children, if you want to get a prayer, yes, you've got to know how to call on him. Yes. Anybody in here know how to call on him? Yes. And if you don't have to know all of the right words to say, you can call him master. You can call him God. You can call him Yahweh. You can call him Jehovah. Whatever you call him, call on the name of the Lord. Yeah, on, yeah. Woo. And if you call him, yes, sir. I guarantee he'll answer. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Some songwriter say he will hear your faint cry. And he will answer by and by. Come on, preacher. And then the second thing, if you want to get a prayer through, is that tell the Lord exactly what you want and what you need. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to know the Lord already knows what you need and what you want even before you ask. Yeah. But to tell the Lord what you want and need is for your own sake. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Yeah. Prayer is not for Jesus Christ. Prayer is for one who prays. Yeah. Have I got a witness right here? Amen. And, and, and see, you have to ask because Paul told me, Paul said rejoice in the Lord. Mm -hmm. huh? Again, I say rejoice. Have no anxiety about anything. Let your forebearers be known. Amen. And he said, uh, in other words, uh, let God know all that you stand in need of. Mm -hmm. Huh? He said, have no anxiety about anything, but in everything through prayer. And supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your heart and mind in the knowledge and the love of God. All right. All that simply means is that you just ought to ask God. Isn't that right? Yes. And be happy while you're asking Him. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Amen. And then the third thing, if you want to get a prayer through, is that when you pray, Believe or have faith that God is going to deliver what you ask for. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 You must believe in your Amen. prayer that what you are praying for, that God is going to grant it to you. Absolutely. In other words, if you don't believe God is going to grant it to you, don't bother about us. Amen. Am I right about it? Absolutely. Amen. And then the fourth thing is this. You want to get a prayer room? Rejoice over answered prayer. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I say rejoice, yeah, rejoice. over answered prayer. Right. Now, has God answered anybody's prayer? Hallelujah. If God has answered your prayer, you have something to show about it. Yeah, right. You have something to rejoice about. Yeah. You have something to jump up and down about. God is a prayer answering God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I'm glad God answered prayer. Yeah. Amen. The other week I prayed. <laughs> Couldn't walk, but I prayed that God would give me strength yeah. that I'd be able to walk again. And God answered my prayer. Amen. 
And I don't know about you, but I'm glad about it. I say, I'm glad about it. I'm jumping up and down that God is a God I can call in the wee hours of the morning when I need it. He will answer my prayers. And so God answered the prayer of that centurion. His slave was healed because of the faith that he had in Jesus Christ. I encourage each of you to keep the faith in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your prayers will be answered. Let's give the Lord a big round of applause. Come on, let's give the Lord a big round of applause. The God who answers prayer. Amen. The doors of the